Hello, this is Elena Strombo. Elena Strombo is my in-game name, and today I'm continuing on my series of videos with Minecraft, the Galacticraft mod. Uh, if you don't know what that is, Galacticraft is a mod that basically allows you to do um, go to different parts of the world, like the moon, or up to a satellite, or up to different planets. It adds a space crafting feature to Minecraft. So in the notes, I'll put a link to my first video. It's how to set it up and where to get the files. There's some specific things you have to do. But once you get into it, you have to start out and it sometimes can be kind of frustrating on how to start with it you know what do i have to build first or what do i have to do so i'm going to show that now i've already done some work so i'm going to be showing what i've done and i'll talk about the specific order but um you know at least it'll give you kind of a leg up on where to start out and then what you need to do so i'm going to start up a single player this is hardcore mode um, this is the other thing i don't play we turn it down just a little bit it's loud on the music um hardcore mode is you can't die if you die the game's done so it's just a place that i like um it just adds another element to the game you have to be very careful about things how you explore what you do you can't mess up uh, you can't fall into lava you can't get attacked by those little miniature zombie dudes or what else you can't run out of oxygen up in space so anyway so i'm gonna start it this is uh this is my uh hardcore mode uh, i've had this up for a bit this is probably the farthest I've gotten in hardcore mode. Um, just, I just want to get something set up that I can play with. So first thing, there are a bunch of stuff you need to start up to actually do this. There are different types of materials that you need to get. Let me show a couple of them. I'll go over to a chest that I have. Um, it adds in some new um, blocks that are in there. Uh, one, it adds in, you still have iron and gold and that kind of stuff, but it also adds in tin, aluminum, and copper. There are additional ones on the other planets, but these are the base ones on the overworld. So you can go find them out there as you're mining. Um, so you gather them, you smelt them, turns them into ingots, you can turn them into blocks. You need a lot. I mean, there's a lot to be making this stuff. The amount of resources, both iron, coal, um, I said, uh, lapis, uh, even redstone, diamonds, silicon is another one that's out there. You need a lot. So. When you play this portion or this part of the game, if you're not in creative mode, I, I never play in creative mode. Um, if you're playing it in survival mode or in hardcore mode, you got a lot of mining to do. So the first thing I do is I always establish a mining base. I dig straight down to the axis, the Z axis of 13. It's where I've always just played. Uh, I find enough diamond, other resources. I come down here, if you hit F3, you can see like on the left side, probably the sixth line down, XYZ, that middle number 13. I'm 13 blocks above bedrock. So that's where I operate from. So my base is always there. So I always drill down, I get some things. I'll even put a mine cart in eventually. And then I create a safe space so I don't die. I light it up, I lock it out the doors. I don't want creatures coming into this and killing me randomly for ridiculous reasons. So um, once I get down here, I always set a bunch of ovens. I usually put them in the floor, crafting table. This is where I can grab most of my materials that I'm gonna use. I always set up a chest that's just random stuff I need. I also make a lot of stone bricks. So I get a lot of cobblestone because we mine a lot. I always put it in the oven and make stone bricks and it just makes the base look better. I just, the type of look I like. Um, this is actually the workbench, the work area. Then I have actually what you would consider the mines where I go over here and I can go into different spots. And I literally most of the time go in a very long straight line. Then I come back at the beginning and I go that way for a very long time. Torches are every 10, 15 spots. And I get any type of resource I can get. Coal, uh, redstone, I don't care. I need it all. So uh, hopefully finding some diamond and stuff. But once again, I secure this. I don't want random creatures coming in. I light up everything as much as I can. And I basically just mine, 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 mine. Now, outside of the other ores, you're gonna find something like you, sometimes you find water or lava. You're gonna find oil. Um, it's black, it's like black water, it runs a little bit slower. Um, that's okay, you need that as well too. You need that because oil, you need to take it, turn it into fuel eventually. There's a refining method to turn it into rocket fuel to use to fly into space. So, once I get this and I start mining a lot of stuff, I get a lot of materials. I do a lot of it in block form, raw form, whatever in ingots. You gotta start out and you gotta start building some equipment to start using this, start creating some of the space stuff. Now, one of the first things you need to create, and this is the first machine you can build, is actually a coal generator. It's basically, what this is, it, it, it takes coal and it provides electricity from coal. 
It's like your very first energy producing thing. That's like the base thing you need. The second thing you need is you need a coal compressor. Coal compressor basically takes two of these ingots. I'll show an example of that here. I'm gonna take, uh, I'll take two of these and I'm gonna take, oh, I need some coal. Let's see if I got some extra here. There's one, put a piece of coal. I'm gonna go over here and I'll put a link in the site to McDoodle to their craft. You're gonna need their wiki site, you know, for the recipes and whatnot. Um, you wanna take like this one. I know if I take like two pieces of, ink, of aluminum, I've got some coal in here already. It's gonna take that and make a, a plate. It's gonna compress it into a plate. You'll see here. So now you got compressed aluminum, it's kind of a plate. So you can do that for copper, you can do that for aluminum, you can do that for tin. You can do that for iron, and then you can mix it. Let's do an iron one. Um, that's actually a simpler one to do. I'll take two of these. I'm gonna take one more coal. Boink. Now, I just know the recipe for this. So I'm gonna put my two ingots in there. Now this is gonna make a compressed, uh, uh, an iron plate, but you need steel. The way you do that, you can take the, you can take this, compress it, once you've got that, you can take it and do this, and it will compress it and make it into steel. And you see it goes through. So if I wanted to do like one steel plate, I need two iron ingots, I need coal to make it into it, then I take that and put two more coal with it, I can get compressed steel. These are kind of your basic components that you can get to make some of the, make some of the equipment that's out there. Um, once you've got that and you can do some of these, you actually, one of the next things you want to do is create what we call a circuit fabricator. These fabricators where you can basically take diamond, you can take uh, silicon, you can take redstone, and then different components and make different types of uh, circuits. Now, some of the circuits we can make is, you know, a basic wafer, a basic chip, a more advanced chip. You know, use your basic chips and basic, and basic things, and you'll use your advanced ones for more advanced tools. But that's where you'll go out and be able to start creating different things. Um, let's go actually out to, I'm going to pull out to my uh, desktop here. Let me get it out to the top here. There's my steam stuff, which you don't need. Let's bring up, let's go here. Let's go to Galactic Craft. Galactic Craft. I don't have the, there we go. This is the McDoodle site. So you can go through it, you know, you can find out information on it. More importantly, you can figure out, you know, uh, you can find basically the recipes for all the stuff you can create. I don't know if it's on here. Let's do this one. Uh, Galactic Craft uh, Compressor. Okay, here it gets you over to the wiki site. So it tells you how to create the instruments. It tells you what the pieces can be used for. It also gives you the big recipe list. Get to know this. It talks about the different types of blocks and different types of machines you know, for launch pads, your space base, for power, for oxygen, different raw materials, manufactured stuff. You can make a buggy when you're flying on the moon and all that. These are all the different things, liquids and gases you've got to create, schematics for different stuff. Like if you want to create the basic, the tier one rocket, or let's say the moon buggy, moon buggy this is the schematic you've got to find. And then this is going to tell you what you need to do. You're going to have to make four tires. You're going to have to make this whole bunch of this compressed uh, material here. I think it is, um, this is the one, I forgot what they called this one. Um, this is where it takes a bunch of the different materials. Ah, it doesn't show us a bunch of the different materials. It makes a specialized one, a hardened one that's out there. Um, so you can go out there and find all these different things. But the whole, the whole point to this is to start out with the basic machines and start building it. So one of the things that we have to do, we get that compressor, we do that. One of the first things we start to build out there, um, first thing is we're gonna need a launch pad. There's a way to create the NASA workbench. This is the workbench where by default, it has the schematic for a tier one rocket. Later on, when you go to the moon, you can go to dungeons on there. You can find the schematics for the moon buggy or for the tier two rocket. You drop them on here and then you, you can go through, let's see, this is where, see, if you've got a new schematic, you can add it and you can unlock it. Um, it'll show you how to make a Tier 2 rocket. Tier 1 rocket will get you to your space station that's flying around the around the overworld or to the moon. If you want to go to Mars, you're going to need a Tier 2 rocket. If you're going to go to Venus, you're going to need a Tier 3 rocket. So it's a progressive system. Um, so you need one of these built out to do that. 
you're going to need a what we call launch pad to put it on. You build your rocket, you put it on launch pad. This is actually a fuel loader. I basically put fuel in here. Um, it's got power, and I'll talk about that in a second. This will load fuel into your rocket so you can run it out there. I'm in hardcore mode, so I can't run out of fuel. I can't get up to the moon and not have enough fuel to get home or oxygen. So it's really important to make sure we load this thing up. Um, I was crazy on this one. I'm down on the 13th level on the Z-Actus. So I mined downward and built the entire launch facility from there upward. So I can launch the rocket from here and it'll go all the way up and out into space. Now up there, I also have some solar panels. Like we saw this one, we got some energy coming in. I'm not doing it by coal, I'm doing it via solar panel. So at some point, you're gonna have to put some solar panels. If you put your launch pad up top, it's easier to wire them together. But since mine is all the way down here, I literally built a, a ladder way to get up here. I can do it via the overworld, but I don't wanna fight or deal with mobs. Mobs equal potential death in hardcore mode, that's not good. So I wanna avoid that as much as possible. So I go all the way up here, and the whole purpose of this is to be able to get to the top of the launch pad area. And I can, let me go over here. I didn't do this very fancy at this point. I built two different um, solar panel arrays. One is a simple one. It generates uh, so much power, but it's a fixed solar panel. It only faces up. So depending on where the sun is, right now the sun is really good. So it's getting power. This is an advanced one. This one will rotate and aim toward the sun. So you can start out with a basic one, but you want to build out these. They generate more electricity. They get more electricity for longer parts of the day since they can aim toward the sun. But all these, these are basically wires that basically connect these together. Kind of coming from here, going over to this one. You see this one is connected here, and then it goes down. And if, you, if, I, if I go over this way, it goes all the way down back to where my base is. So I had to build all those wiring, and that takes aluminum and a lot of cotton um it's one of the things you're gonna need so make sure you, you you need sheep lots of sheep um i'm gonna go back down here okay i'm just gonna cruise down um so that wire is to my right is running down this all the way back down to my my work area now once it's down there i wire it up so basically i can use it for the different devices and let's get down here and if I look here, see where it came? That's where it came down. It's coming down into here. And you can see it's kind of wiring in. At some point, I'm going to connect it over here. Um, but this is basically going over. So you have, to, you have to plan. You have to think about how you're going to connect all this stuff together. So it's not just drop it down or, you know, or it'll do it itself. So if I look back here in my work area... It comes down underground, and these blocks are blocks that I made. These are wire blocks. So they're a solid block, but they basically have wire access at every side, or every face on this, at all eight sides. Is it eight? Four? No. Six-sided. <laughs> I can't count. It's like a dice. Um, so these are called power distribution blocks. So I label it up there. So this fabricator is actually facing so it connects to here. This is how this is actually getting power. Now, this only works when the sun is out. So the wires come down. If the sun's out, it's generating it. But at some point, you're going to want to do this while at night or whatnot. These three are what we call energy storage modules. Basically, they've got input. It's connected to the, that energy coming in, and it's a big battery. So this has got you know 500,000 gigajoules or whatever it is of power. And these I've got three of them in line. So when there's no sun or whatever else... I can still run and work my equipment. I run off these batteries, and as soon as the sun comes back up, then it will start recharging these. So to create these, you have to create batteries. You have to then make those batteries, make components with you know circuit chips, and then you can build these modules. Basically, what I've done is I've got my work area set up where I can mine, I can get power, I can start building out the rest of the components out here to make my rocket ship. The next thing I'm actually going to build is the rocket ship. Um, once I create the rocket ship, I'll be able to put that on there. We've got that ready. And then I've got to do a lot of the setup stuff. Um, I'm going to need some stuff to create um, fuel. There's a fuel modules to create, take that oil and turn it into fuel. There's a fuel loader over there already. Um, I'm going to have to make parachutes. I have to make a space suit. There's a whole bunch of, like, if I go in here, 
here's my space stuff. I need, uh, I'm going to need, um, not only that, I need a space helmet, thermal stuff. Here's like my thermal, my keep warm stuff. This is my oxygen mask. This is my, uh, my backpack. I need a parachute when I'm coming back, uh, oxygen tanks. This is a chip you can put in. This is an optional one. There's a module that a block you can build that will show track where you are or where other people are. So it's really super intricate, but to get started, Get yourself a mining base. Go, go collect a bunch, and I mean a bunch. Like, I mean, I've got 42 blocks of coal. I've been burning through it. You know, I've got 20, you know, 25 blocks of tin. That's nine times 25, uh, nearly 200. And that's still not enough. i got to go. You need tons of aluminum. You're going to need tons of white wool, or white wool or wool. So you're going to have to go to the overworld. I have a spot up there where I'm, you know, harvesting, you know, breeding sheep getting a lot so I can go up there and get a lot of wool for it. Um, you're going to need some dyes. Find red dye. It's a specific dye for some of the stuff. And then you're going to have to make a lot of components. I said lots of chests. You're going to need obsidian. One of the current overworld stuff or you want to do is you want to get some ender, uh, ender eyes or enderman eyes. You want to kill some of those, get those eyes. You can build an ender chest, which is eight. You know, kind of like how you build like a um, an oven. You want eight around um uh, obsidian blocks and one ender eye in the middle great thing is that i can build an ender chest here and take another one to my moon base so if there's something that's like oxygen or fuel food an extra this and extra that i don't always have to carry it with me i can put it in the ender chest here and it would be available to me on the moon or on mars or on venus so that's the kind of stuff you do you kind of you build your setup you get your base rocket ship. There's a whole checklist to get yourself ready to go to the moon. Um, you don't actually go to the moon first. You go to a satellite. It's a base little kind of base satellite. You get that kind of functioning up there. You've got your base stuff. You've got a place to kind of live and get to. And then from there, you can either go to the moon, start building a moon base out there. Um, you're going to want some materials. There's a whole bunch of other machines. But take a look at the website. You can go through it. There's just a lot of cool stuff. I'm sure there's some other videos that have been out there doing it. I don't know how long. I'm just doing the series again because this mod is just one of the best mods that I've seen out there. So um, also like this one, you know, your normal crafting table. If you put some stuff on there and you hit get out, you go back, then it's no longer there. You can build a metallic one, um, a magnetic one, where if you put something on the table and you leave... You know, it's not here, it's not in my inventory, but if you go back to it, it's still there. It's really cool when you're building out like some things that are complicated kind of recipes. You can start dropping it on here and you can leave it. Otherwise you kind of build it out in your kind of inventory or you write it down or whatever else, but you can leave it on this table and it stays there. So this is a simple one to create with a one other extra thing and you take a regular crafting table and that. This is one of the cool mods that are out there. Um, make yourself lots of signs. Um, I said, protect yourself. I hive, I hive everything off so mobs can't get to me while I'm working. You In hardcore mode, you just want to minimize your seeing of mods. I have a dog. Capture a wolf. I want anything that's going to help me with stuff that's out there. Um, I think that's it. I mean, for, for the setup, that's kind of a lot. Start out, get your thing installed, get your coal generator, get your coal compressor. You're going to build your circuit fabricator next. And then you're going to start building other things. You start your energy stuff. You're going to batteries, wire, build your first launch pad, build your first uh, workbench. And that you're kind of up to where I'm at in addition to all this. Yeah, I have a lot of stoves because I said all the cobblestones or all the stuff I drop. You know, I it's a lot of times I'll have like all nine of these. Or is it nine? Fifteen of them. Plus I have some other spares. I have like 20, 21 stoves here. Sometimes I'll have 15 of these stoves just running at once, just all the time. Um, oh, yeah, I make a trash bin. A lot you just kind of toss away some crap, like extra blocks. That's my general just lava or thing. I put it out there so I can just go. Uh, it's gone. So that's the other thing I make on there. Um, I think that's it. So a lot of fun to play. If you haven't seen the startup, how to set up Forge or how to get the modules, um, watch the first video. It'll be in the notes. Visit the website, also be in the notes. Um, I'm going to make YouTube videos on things as I progress forward. I'll show like the rocket ship or whatever else. I'll definitely show the first time I go to space and whatnot. So you can always find me at Elena Strombo here on YouTube. 
If you like what you're seeing, please put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, of course. The other thing is I do, I am going to start streaming on Twitch. Elena's going to have a VR model. I used to stream with me personally on a microphone. I think Elena's earned the right to be showing herself, so I'm working on my VR setup, tracking and all that. There will be some Twitch streams as well, as I plan on hardcore mode. So you'll be able to watch me on there. Once again, that's at uh, twitch.tv, uh, elenastrombo.com. I'll put links down at the bottom. Um, website is elenastrombo.com, or Instagram is that as well, uh, Elena Strongbo. Um, so it's always out there under those. Um, if you've got questions, shoot them on, you know, put them on the, on the video here. I'll answer everything I can. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's something else you're specific, you have a question or you want to see, just let me know. Otherwise, take care, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.